In this mini tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate some of the tools we use to make the Nike project visually appealing on multiple platforms and scalability tiers. On next-gen consoles, we harness the power of Lumen for real-time global illumination. However, this feature isn't available on previous-gen platforms, so we needed to create entirely separate lighting scenarios tailored specifically to those platforms. In order to do this, we use the Lighting Scalability Manager device. This device allows you to create separate lighting scenarios for each scalability tier. In our case, we used three separate skylights for low, medium and high scalability, and also two separate directional lights. You can visually preview this functionality by setting engine scalability level in the editor, and toggle the corresponding lights on and off to make sure each light matches the scalability setting you've specified. Because of the lack of Lumen GI from emissive materials on lower end platforms, some areas look really dark without additional lighting. In this subway platform, we placed several additional lights and nested them all under a single empty actor. We then added this actor to the array in the Lumen Scalability Manager and set it to only be visible on low end and medium platforms, since we don't want these lights visible on high and epic scalability settings, where Lumen GI is already contributing enough light from the emissive material. The same is true of this club area, where without Lumen GI on the low end platforms, it appears nearly pitch black. We added several additional lights tailored specifically for low and medium scalability to bring the visuals on those platforms more in line with the visual target set by the high end platforms. <laughs> 